happening. So maybe no, you'll go through that. No, on the right side me. of the map, the map doesn't belong to us. It's done by the Danish government or Danish institutes. Okay. They are following the radiation leak from Japan into North America. As a nuclear physicist, knowing what this means, I predicted this uh, earthquake over three years ago. It was obvious it's going to happen. It's on my forum, date 2nd of uh, October 2009. I specifically stated in my, in my forum, there will be earthquake in New Zealand, there will be earthquake east of Japan, what they call east of China, Japan. And now, with that plate moving, you're going to have the same thing in California, 11 RS. It's a huge pending, which now the land has been released for its movement, and it's on my forum. So we don't talk. I look at it scientifically, and I explain what's coming. You're going to have the same problem as Japan very soon in your PWRs. You have quite a few of them in California. Two. Yeah. And at the same time, I could foresee this, what's going to happen with the nuclear reactors. Do not forget my training and my background is the design control of nuclear reactors. That's what I've been trained for. So I know how, what it means, what is coming to happen. So with my system, because you can create gravitational field the same as Japan or any nuclear accident, you can put one of these reactors inside the Japanese nuclear reactor and retract most of the nuclear material or hold them inside. Explain that. This is the retraction of nuclear material inside into the center of the core, yes. What it is, with the knowledge we have, the same thing as I explained to you, that you can move your system to a certain position, it means now we have the capability scientifically to produce gravitational fields of any matter or any wavelength of any radiation. It's like a magnet for metal. What we call magnets nowadays, our mindset is when you have a magnet, is when two metals attract with each other. Now we have the same knowledge to create a magnetic field which is equal to any radiation, so you can retract it. Can we retract it from the air? Yes, you can do. It is possible. We have tested it. But at the same time, these reactors have the capability of creating magnetic shield, which means you can use a system to stop any radiation leak outside. You create your own shield. You create your own little planet. You create your own little moon which you can confine the radiation within the, within the nuclear power station. I looked at this and how this could be done after Chernobyl. After Chernobyl, uh, we were aware of it. The biggest mistake Japanese made out of panic was to put water, and at the same time with the tsunami, the water got into the fuel tanks. And that is a vapor which has gone up, and that's what you're receiving in Canada and North America. My estimated count of the death toll from Japanese in Northern America including Canada, is between 5 to 10 million people within the next 25 years. You are receiving enormous amount of radiation material in. So are you saying even if we take iodine? Yeah. doesn't make any difference. Does not make, it's airborne. You are breathing it in. Even in Europe, we have received it. But the thing is, you will see, because we monitor the rate of the growth of MS and fibromyalgia, since Chernobyl, the belt of the airflow in Chernobyl, the first six months, is the pattern where you see the maximum MS within the population ratio. So you are going to get a huge amount of cancer, plus MS-type diseases, which are neurodamage. I explained to you the reason for it, scientifically. It will happen. You have no choice. Cesium is part of your structure. Cesium, which is one of the most heaviest nuclear materials, is part of us human being structure. Do you know what you call it scientifically? No. And you eat it and you go to the shop and you buy it? It's called B12. When you take B12, you are taking cesium. This is what actually causes division of cells, and that's how we can keep ourselves multiplying and live. Now you are receiving huge dosage of it. So division multiplication will be more than the fact that the body needs. It's in your lymphs. It's part of our structure of being a human. Living animals use this material.
material for knifing, cutting different energies to what we call. But because people don't understand it, they call it B12. Yeah? So now you're receiving a huge dosage of B12. So your body is going to divide faster. So at the same time, this division changes your DNA fraction of the division, which means if it's parallel, you lose the construction from a conductive to resistive and resistive to conductive. And at the same time, this cesium, which is coming through the air through Japanese um, accident, will kick in the delay time in the death code of the cell. And at the same time, it can increase the death code, which means you will get a lot of strokes, a lot of uh, brain hemorrhage. And at the same time, because it changes the DNA of the death code, you will get a lot of people with a lot of cancer. That's how cancer comes about. And this cesium and what is coming as radiation mixture from Japan will cause massive death rates in Northern America, and you will start seeing it in the next three to five years because the pattern always comes within three to five years after the accident. So what can we do to be preventative? Is there anything we can do? Too late. Too late. It's too late for anything because it's already leaked. It's already arrived in your land. Just go on the on the link on my forum, which the, the Danish people have put up. You just press. It gives you the materials, and look and click on North America. Click on it, and you see what you are receiving on a daily dosage, and what you received historically from the day of accident. It's in different colors. It's purple, blue, or whatever. Yeah. So you have received it. Your lands are already contaminated. In North Wales, in west of the United Kingdom, there are farms after 25 years. Today, or this week is the anniversary of Chernobyl. After 25 years, there are farms in North Wales, in England, which cannot be farmed because of the dosage of radiation they received 25 years ago for Chernobyl. You can't even put a sheep on them to graze. What do you think you are getting? I'm speechless. We know as, an, as a nuclear physicist, it's not a scaremongering. This is explaining the process of what has happened. We, are, we don't say it. Just go and look how what has happened. <coughs> I, I have families who live in California. I have families who live in Canada. Yeah? Yes. And it's the same. It's too late. There is nothing. Even in Europe, we have received a huge dosage. We do not know. The north of um, Japan, the east coast of China. I would love to know what the Chinese are going to release in the next five or ten years of the death toll of cancer, leukemia, stroke, MS, in that area, because they received a huge amount of it. I would like to know what the Japanese government is going to release as a data for the number of people. This is hundreds of times worse than Hiroshima. What can be done with regard to all the nuclear reactors in the United States? Can we use your technology to make those nuclear reactors safe? Because the nuclear industry is not going to go away. The nuclear industry cannot go away. We need it. it but it has to become safer. Well, can you the make it safer? Is, yeah, you can make it as it is safer. First of all, the situation in Japan should have never happened. We learned it. All the nuclear physicists and the scientists who are involved as a nuclear scientist in the control room of the nuclear reactors knew after Chernobyl where the mistake was. The mistake came when they start putting water on top of the radioactive material, which is already naked. So they created the steam. The first thing was you never put water on the radioactive material, that you create the plume which is coming to Canada. Secondly, British government has a very good close policy. British government, during Mrs. Thatcher, it's on my forum, I'll put this in detail, came to an agreement with Reagan administration because I was working at that time with the British nuclear fuel and I was part of the system who was setting up this technology, was that we create a remote control room miles away from the power station. That if the power station blows up, if everything goes wrong, we control the whole thing no operator can touch. Computer takes over, brings everything under control. Japanese didn't realize this half. They didn't have this system. The same thing, Westinghouse in America has to bring this immediately into operation in, in, in American systems. That again, if it happens, you never put water on the, on the burned out nuclear reactor. It's just like you have a... You